Hi. In this video, we're going to look at different types of quadrilaterals. Um, quadrilaterals, again, are four-sided shapes. And then we're going to look at the definitions of each one. And we're also going to look at the hierarchy of quadrilaterals. So a Google search for a hierarchy definition gives a system or organization in which people or groups are ranked one above the other according to status or authority. So in this case, it'll mean some things like all rectangles are quadrilaterals, even though not all quadrilaterals are rectangles. So we'll make a little chart out of them. So here's the first definition. It's just a quadrilateral. So quad means four, and lateral means side. For example, lateral motion in a football game or something means side-to-side -side motion. So a quadrilateral is just any old four-sided shape. Okay, so the first specific quadrilateral we're going to look at is a trapezoid, um, or a trapezium. So a trapezoid is any quadrilateral that has two opposite sides parallel. Okay, so these sides, it doesn't really matter what they look like for it to be a trapezoid. They could be parallel, they can be uh, nicely symmetrical. That actually makes it an isosceles trapezoid. But if the two opposite sides are parallel, it's a trapezoid. The next quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Uh, parallelogram is pretty easy to remember what it is because it's all in the name. A parallelogram, everything is parallel basically. The opposite sides are parallel to each other. So I'd just like to point out here that all parallelograms are trapezoids because they have got one pair of opposite sides. And again, all trapezoids are quadrilaterals. And one little extra thing I want to point out is that if we wanted to prove that something was, for example, a parallelogram, if we were doing coordinate geometry, what we do is we find the slopes of the sides, and then to show that these two sides were parallel, we hopefully show that they have the same slopes. And then if we want these two sides to be parallel, that means that we want them to have the same slopes too. So that's how we would decide whether or not it was a parallelogram. So the next specific type of quadrilateral I want to look at is a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral that has all four sides the same length. So just make, take a minute and notice uh, that we can have a quadrilateral like this that isn't a square. Um, so the difference is, is, in, is the angles, what the angles look like. But all these four sides are the same length. It is interesting to note that all rhombuses are parallelograms. All right, the next shape is a rectangle. Um, so a rectangle is a parallelogram that has a right angle. There are other definitions of rectangles about the side lengths, um, but let's just notice here that if just saying the opposite side lengths or sides are the same length isn't good enough because the parallelograms have that quality too. Um, so one, the easiest way to figure out if something's a rectangle is to check the slopes of the sides. And if it's a parallelogram, so opposite sides are parallel, and there's one right angle, which means that these two lines here are perpendicular, that it's a rectangle. It's interesting to notice that if we have one right angle, then we actually will have four, if it's a parallelogram. Uh, also interesting is that this is the first break in the hierarchy here. So far, every shape we've looked at has been also an example of the shape before it. But here, a rectangle is a parallelogram, and a rhombus is a parallelogram. But a rectangle is not necessarily a rhombus and a rhombus isn't necessarily a rectangle. They could be, one of them could be also the other, but it's not necessarily true. Okay, so the last shape I want to look at is a square. I've actually drawn two squares here, because there's two different ways of explaining what a square is, at least two different ways. So the first way is to say that a square is a rhombus, so that means something with four equal sides, that also has a right angle. If we take a look at our rhombus over here, uh, we can see that if we take this rhombus and sort of uh, squeeze it together to turn this angle into a right angle, then boom, it'll be a square like this. Another way of explaining what a square is, is that it's a rectangle. So just to review what that means, it's a parallelogram, so opposite sides parallel, and there's also a right angle. But it's a rectangle where two adjacent sides, so two sides next to each other, are the same length. 
So if you kind of imagine taking a rectangle, if we forced two adjacent sides to be the same length, then that would force it into a square. So either of these definitions is good. Sometimes one is easier to prove than the other, which was why we want both. Sometimes the advantage of the second definition is that it's a bit of a nuisance to calculate the length of sides. So here you only have to do it for two sides. But it does mean you have to find a lot of slopes. In this example, if you maybe if you like finding the length of a side better, which is something we're going to work on, then you can find the lengths of all four sides, and then you only need to calculate two slopes to show this right angle. So whichever you like better, both of these definitions are good. So here we've got this hierarchy of quadrilaterals. And just to sort of outline again what that means is that if we have a trapezoid, it's definitely a quadrilateral. If we have a parallelogram, it's definitely a, a trapezoid, and that means it's also definitely a quadrilateral. Rhombuses are all parallelograms, and rectangles are all parallelograms, even though rhombuses and rectangles aren't necessarily one, one necessarily isn't the other. Squares are also always rectangles, and rhombuses, squares are also always rhombuses. All right. Good luck.